Hey YouTube viewers, what's up? New video again. In this one I'm going to show you how you can load up a virtual instrument in your Vienna Ensemble Pro server. Then in Ableton we create some sort of a template so that in the future you can load up that instrument you selected very fast and it's very easy to use when you're creating tracks. So here we go. First we start up a version of Vienna Ensemble Pro Server and if you already know how to do this you can skip this step so now we are going to connect our Vienna Ensemble Pro instrument first we have to drag it to the main screen then click on connect select our server connect and when it says connected you can click on raise so that you immediately go to the main screen in Vienna and here I'm going to load up my favorite plugin the whoops the Xilent one now in here there is a small Wi-Fi like icon and we're going to click it because this is the name you're going to give it one so that it is in your meta frame screen here you can see it's called silent one now we also want to save this meta frame because each time we open up a server instance this meta frame can be loaded if we have created the template in Ableton now we're going to save it as and I have a folder called Vienna templates and I call it Surprise, surprise, silent one. Just save it. Okay, that's done. Now we're going back to Ableton. And here we are going to rename this instrument track. Also, silent one. And now I am going to my folder Vienna templates. And I'm just going to click, hold, and drag it in here release and we see silence here now each time or the next time you need silence you can just drag it in here and it's uh, it's operational you only have to remember that you have loaded a server instance of Vienna now let's say you are creating a track and you have loaded up silence and you have loaded up another plugin from Vienna one or two, three, four, four. And you've loaded up this plugin in here and you're creating a track. Well, important to remember is that when you want the meta frame to stay clear from all other plugins you have loaded, you need to rename it and save it for yourself. So you can see here it will be preserved and all these since will if you leave this screen it will ask you to save your meta frame and if you click yes the meta frame you use for your plugins will be well somewhat contaminated so they contain all these other plugins so what you want to do is save this whenever you're creating a track save meta frame as go to your track folder where you created your tracks and just like here I'm working on a couple of tracks here and then you can name it whatever you want and save it and whenever you go back to your track this meta uh, frame will be loaded well that's it for now thank you for watching if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave it to me see you around